right, kids. It's alive. Look at that. We're gonna zip tie up the throttle so I can get a little speed out of her. And we're gonna take it for a spin. Right on. All right. Let's go. kind of forgot that <laughs> I had started a video but uh, as you can see we got to take it for a test drive and uh, now you'll notice that the uh, radiator is out and that's because we're working on stuffs like uh, you know the throttle you know the throttle here I think we'll there and the, the shutdown so that's done. So now I'm working on putting in the, or actually securing the gauges and running the uh, mercury tube for the coolant temp and the stupid plastic line, uh, which I made clearly too long, but that's okay. We'll just zip tie up the excess, I guess. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna get into the wiring but uh, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be too long of a video because I wanna get a video uploaded because I haven't uploaded in like three weeks. So uh, we'll see what we get done here in the next little bit. Uh, and by the way, the vice grips are not permanent to hold the shutoff cable. There's gonna be a cushion clamp holding it there and that's where the one of the radiator bolts goes. So that's gonna secure that there. That layer, it's gonna secure that layer. But we're getting there. And then after we get uh, we get all this done here, then I'm gonna do the wiring. And I'm gonna work on the fuel system. And I think for now, we're gonna just put the manifold back on and just run naturally aspirated. And uh, put the Okay, I'll just own up to it. Yeah, I'm putting the turbo on this eventually. That's why there's a fourth gauge hole for a boost gauge, but we'll get to it. Uh, just not right now. We're working on stage one right now, which is uh, making it so I can hop on it and turn the key and go. 
and uh, the steering cylinder leaks. So I'll either have to see if this one is uh, rebuildable or put on one of my others that I have laying around. But anyway, uh, let's get some work done. Well, I think we're nearing the end of this video, which uh, got quite a bit done since the start of it. And you got to see me drive it around for the first time, so that's pretty cool. Still got plenty to do. Uh, but if we come over here, there's a wire there, a two strand, uh, whatever you want to call it, wire. And of course, one's going to be for the tail light, one's going to be for the spotlight. And they're all going to work off of that switch there, which I have the headlights hooked up, but uh, uh, you have to have the key on just for safety's purposes, but I think they're both blown. I would say yes. So, we'll get some proper headlights in that. Uh, cigarette lighter, should work. Uh, glow plug up, and there's gonna be a little surprise when, if you push it down. Any day now. Oh, I was thinking about it. There she goes. Need to light a cigarette. So we got that going. Uh, turn the key on. You'll see volt gauge snaps up. It uh, starts. And uh, you can rev it and uh, shut it off at the dash, which is nice. It charges. We'll flip the hood open here. We got our grill support bar back in. We got all our wiring in there, all somewhat tidied up. I got to secure it a little bit better in there, but in due time, we got to wire it, conduit or wire app, whatever you want to call it, all over the place. Nice and good. And uh, so, yeah. Got quite a bit done, and I think where we're gonna go from here is uh, more progress. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to uh, focus my video attention on a few other things and uh, get some progress made on this, and the next time you'll see it, uh, hopefully you have a lot more done. Well, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and until next time, take care.